Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about recursion on arrays. Essentially what we are doing is an exhaustive search. So what we're doing is we're taking all the combinations on an array and seeing if that combination satisfies our requirements or not. To explain this I'll take a really basic example in the context of recursion with arrays which is checking if some of the items of an array data starting at index start add up to the given target. So data is your array, start is the starting index at which we need to look from and target is the value you are trying to construct by add up to. So read the requirements carefully and it says return true. Return true if some of the items not necessarily consecutive in the array data starting at index start add up to the value target. False otherwise. I've given two examples. The first one is if the array contains the values 10, 50, 90, minus 90, minus 30, and 20, starting index is 0, and you're looking to construct 70, you can do so by adding 10 and 90 and minus 30, which are the items at index 0, 2, and 4. If Everything remains the same except the starting index, then it will false because starting at index 3, which is the second half of the array, you cannot construct 70. Let's take one more example. Let's say data is 3, 8, 10, minus 6, minus 12, 5. Right. Start is zero and target is zero as well. You don't even have to look at the items because you can go through since an empty array is a subset of data. Similarly, let's take the same array and try to construct 23 I don't know if 23 can be constructed so let's see actually let's see we have 8 and 10 and 5 so yes we have to return true and 8 plus 10 plus 5 equals 23 similarly if the starting value is 0 um, the result we want is 15, we will turn 3, the combination that I have in mind is 3 plus minus 6 plus minus 2, so target is minus 15. 3 and, six and, 3 and minus 6 and minus 12 adds up to minus 15. So yeah, that's the purpose of this method. Now let's see how this will be done. You notice that if the starting index, if the array is null, that's the first thing that you should check. You return false. That's our very basic null pointer check. Once we know that the array is not null, we can check if start is more than or equal to data length. If we exceed, then there's one case in which we'll return true, which is this. If data is 10, 10, 10, start is 0, and target is 30, return true. And you can see that 10 and 10 and 10 actually become 30. So it is possible that you will exceed the length of the array and check all the items and reach the end of the array. So you have to check if target has become zero, then you return true. Otherwise, 
<clears throat> now, once we are here, it means that our uh, start is a valid index. So we have two choices. Use it be more alert or aware not and use shape and denying the opposition so if we use it then i think that's what <clears> our <throat> to remaining the target it has become a becomes target subtract data start and now surviving the press we need to check if we can construct this remaining target starting at index start plus 1 so we can see if add up to data start plus one and remaining target returns true. It means that remaining target can be constructed. Starting at index start plus one, and therefore, target can be constructed starting at index start, which means we can return true. Which means we'll only come here if target cannot be constructed using. The current item, which means that the only choice we have is to not use it. So when that's the only choice, we return add up to data start plus one and target. So this remains the same because we are not going to use the current value, and therefore the target remains unchanged, and we just look in fact. Let's have a run, and you can see that the test passes. One more thing that you can do is, I'm going to, I'm going to add a display statement over here, which will say, searching for, uh, looking to construct target. Hoisted in again. Bolly that was first to using a spectacular finish that he showed in Lincoln, but the question is given Everton a corner. Data. Beginning at index start. When I run this, you'll see that. Uh, let's take a look at the console. And it's a bit overwhelming, the console. There are lots of things that are going on, but we make sense of that just in a second. That's my good picks. And it was going at some pace. Whatever it's makes perfect sense. And also we only have one test. Which is searching, looking to make the item 10, which is made already at index 0. When I run this, you can see it says looking to construct 10 using this array beginning at index 0. As I said, line number 42 checks if you can add the remaining value at index 1. So it's going to try and construct 0 using the same array beginning at index 0 but as soon as it becomes 0 we don't have to look any further this means we have if target is 0 return true which will simplify our condition when start exceeds data.length but in this case we only have to return so as you can see that things can be done in a variety of ways 
And now that I've run the stairs, as soon as target becomes zero, it means that I have constructed the entire original target, so we don't have to move any words. So let's comment the first test out and uncomment the second test. We are looking to make 70, and let's see what happens. So you can see there are lots of steps, and as I said, the decision it's making, the decision this algorithm is making, for each item, it checks whether to consider it or not towards the target. So if if I have six items in the array, the maximum number of iterations or invocations of this function would be 2 to the power of 6, which is 64. So we start with 70 and we use the 10 then we look to construct 60 starting at index 1 we use the 50 we look to construct 10 using index 2 we use the 90 we are looking to construct minus 80 at index 3 which is possible because negative items may exist we use the minus 90 minus 80 plus minus a minus 80 minus minus 90 is plus 10. So we're looking for 10 at index 4, then 40 at index 5, and then because <coughs> the target minus 20 becomes 20, you can see over here it exceeds the value. So we don't, so that method invocation returns false. So the next choice is to not use the last value 20. So then we are looking for to construct the entire 40 at index 6. Take a look at these two steps. The first one is when we used item at index 5. And the second one is when we did not use the item at index 5. So this way it keeps going back and forth, back and forth and ultimately checks all possible combinations and returns if it can be constructed. It's not a very efficient algorithm but it's an algorithm which is used quite frequently and it's known as exhaustive search. I hope you benefited from this video and I'm going to upload this piece of code in addition to the video in the description so please feel free to play around with that. Thank you very much.